A now former teacher's assistant at a preschool in St. John's County is facing allegations of child molestation. 18 year old Anthony Guadalupe is out of jail this evening after posting bond. And that's according to a letter that went out to parents of students that attend the Chappelle School's Longleaf Pine Parkway campus. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet is joining us now live with the latest. Eric. Yes, well, uh, yes, well, according to this arrest report, hold on for a second, having some issues here. According to uh, this arrest report, the alleged criminal act actually happened inside the Chappelle School building there. And uh, it all came about in terms of being reported when a father of one of the students saw something very odd. Now, before we go any further, I do want to warn our viewers that details about the allegations are very disturbing. The father of a female student told investigators that when he entered a classroom to pick up his daughter, he noticed her pulling up her underwear then when they walked outside to the parking lot she told him the teacher's assistant later identified as 18 year old Anthony Guadalupe placed a toy in her underwear the parent went back into the building and requested to see footage from the classroom surveillance camera now according to the arrest report Guadalupe was seen on video placing the child on his lap and then later seen putting his hands up under her dress. The report says at one point the child was seen facing Guadalupe when he lifted her dress again. Now, 18 minutes later, the video showed the dad entering the classroom as his daughter was pulling up her underwear. School officials did release a uh, uh, the following statement to News for Jackson. It reads, at Chappelle Schools, our top priority is the safety and well-being of the children in our care. Upon learning of the former employee's alleged inappropriate actions with a student on July 18th, we immediately took steps to ensure the staff members uh, did not have access to the school. Both state and local authorities were notified and the St. John's Perfect. County School Perfect. Office arrested uh, the former employee. We will continue to fully cooperate with, a, uh, with all appropriate agencies as they conduct their investigation. As this is an ongoing investigation, we cannot comment further, but as we have additional information, we're able to share, uh, we, we're, that we're able to share, we will be very transparent as possible and provide updates in a timely manner. Now, I do wanna tell you that from speaking with some of the a lot of the parents that I've spoken with already on camera um, we, we, after we got here they say that the one thing they really loved about the school that the school has been extremely transparent about what happened here and in, in terms of keeping them up to date now as for Guadalupe I did speak with the state attorney's office and the state attorney's office tells me that based on the charges alone if convicted he could face up to life in prison reporting live in st. John's Eric Avignet channel 4 the local station